Now just as series systems are the worst possible arrangement, it turns out that parallel systems are the best possible arrangement of n mutually independent components. So in this case we look at the parallel system. The same assumptions are in place. We have n mutually independent components with probabilities of functioning p1, p2 up to pn. If one or more of the components must function for the system to function, find the probability that the system functions. Well off to the right here you have another block diagram and this block diagram corresponds to n equals three components and the first one has a probability of functioning p1, second component has a probability of functioning p2, and the third component has a probability of functioning p3. In some sense a parallel system has some backups in place. Namely you have component one backed up by components two and three. All of these components must be operating. This is not like what's called a standby redundancy um, system where for example you might have an exam where you take three pencils to the exam. Well one pencil you're using the other two are there as backups. In this particular case all three of the components are working at the same time but they're backing each other up and they sometimes call this a warm standby system as opposed to a cold standby system. So to calculate the probability that the system functions, it is easiest to say this is 1 minus the probability that the system fails. The reason for this is in a parallel system, the system fails when all of the components are failed. The way that this system goes down is all three of those have to fail. So that is the probability that component 1 fails times component 2 fails all the way up to component n fails. And the probability of component 1 failing is 1 minus p1. The probability of component 2 failing is 1 minus p2 all the way up to 1 minus pn. This multiplication here occurs because of the independence, mutual independence of the components. Finally, if you want to use the, you want to write this using the uh, pi symbol, it will look like that.